The last time ASU and Utah got together, the Sun Devils got a marquee Pac-12 victory against a ranked opponent, and Brandon Ayuk hit the 100-yard receiving mark for the first time in his career. Since then, he's hit the century mark in four of his next nine games and become one of the biggest big play threats in the Pac-12 conference. He's hoping for a repeat performance on the field and in the win column against the Utes on Saturday. That game last year was kind of one of the games that I felt uh, where I started to feel comfortable. And that game had the exact, the Washington State game had the exact same feel as that Utah game. I guess the thing I remember the most is the missile screen he caught early in the game. And I mean, he showed what he shows all the time, that explosiveness. He broke two tackles, went down the sideline, and that kind of ignited us. You know, I've, I've said before, he reminds me a lot of Torrey Holt in terms of the ability for run after the catch. Earl Bennett was really good. He's built like Earl. I had at Vanderbilt that was a, a dynamic receiver for us because the, the Brandon and Earl are both built like running backs. And even Holt, to that to that end, had legs like a running back. So guys that are strong, and that's what I like, you know, strong lower body guys that can break tackles. And Brandon is strong through contact. Now he's hard to tackle. Yeah, I think back to that game because people like to talk about those guys a lot, give them a lot of credit, but uh, it's pretty much the same guys. So uh, I think Nikhil had a, a great game. Uh, Ian was able to run the ball, so we're looking to do those same things. It's just part of his growth. That's, I mean, that's, he's a very talented player. So talented players get better every week, and he works hard. He wants to do good. He likes to be coached. And when you put all those elements together, you get a chance to be good.